monsters wear many faces. Previously on Alan Wake. Cauldron Lake is a special place. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. Alan Wake? Oh, God! I am your biggest fan! I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I thought maybe you could write here. Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Alice, Alice, no! Alice was taken by a monster called the Dark Presence. I will tell you what to do. The Dark Presence made me write a horror story that came to life. No! It wore the face of an old woman. Behind the mask was pure darkness. The story would make it strong enough to escape the dark place. But there was a weapon to use against the Dark Presence. A light switch. The clicker. To save Alice, I needed to enter Cauldron Lake. Dive deeper. Back to work, boy. I resurfaced in the dark place. I fought the Dark Presence and took control of my story. I changed the ending. I sacrificed myself so Alice could go free. Now, I'm trapped in the dark place. Alan? This nightmare has only just begun. Alan? Hi there, everyone. Are you guys doing all good? So, yeah, um, I'm playing Hell Awake too been waiting for this for months now and uh, yeah my finally get to it after having played everything else I guess aside for maybe Max Payne and uh, Quantum Break I don't know I could do Max Payne hi there people I'm also back Luca do one thing at the time trust me I don't know I guess we'll see if it is relevant to the lo to the lore at the very least anyways yeah um before I even start uh, I just wanna put it out, there's gonna be a lot of read, hence why Sierra is back. And uh, I'm gonna try to make it as painful as painful as possible. <laughs> Maybe I should do all the talking dude. I'm gonna try to make it as painless as possible. But you know Sierra, she can be a little that way. Um, also, I'm playing with um, FSR active, so it's 2K resolution, but I'm playing with... Uh, FSR because despite having a decent PC I just couldn't push past high settings without dipping down in the low, low 40s um, frame rate which is a shame but it's fine high specs uh, high settings with uh, FSR on quality seems to be good looking enough and I get up Rock solid 60 FPS which is what I wanted for capturing if I didn't if it wasn't about capturing I wouldn't mind about 30 FPS because it's a very smooth 30 FPS. So I could even push to 4K maybe with medium settings. But you know, I'm doing it for the channel, so I'm gonna play it as it is. And yes, they continue years because I already tested it, of course. Otherwise, why would they say all of this? Let's dive in, people. It's time for the dark place. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. 
but trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. We're back. So I put the nudity filter on because I just didn't want to show the match. Plus, you know, putting this online. Whoa, we're off for a rough start here. Graphics are. I cannot really see much of a difference from uh, older settings, to be honest. Okay, I get it. I'll need to toughen up for this game. That scene got me pretty much every single time I did this piece, but I did it several times, so, you know, we're used to it. Well, I'm not used to it, buddy, so give me a break. Is it this way the whole time? Disappeared again. And who the hell was that? Luca, I want to stop playing now. Thanks. Faster. I'm trying to escape. It won't work, but...
kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? <laughs> I'll check out that map. Not only the subtle is in. <clears throat> Also, it's quite nice to have Max Payne's voice. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Also, I think I already mentioned that actor actually died recently. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. So I was in his, it's kind of a, um, um, you know, his last work, I suppose. Which is sad, but also kind of cool that he managed to do this. If I'm not wrong, he had some kind of a cancer problem, so nothing that could really be resolved. Easily, at least. I guess I tried to resolve it, of course. I'm just gonna have a look around first, because there's some stuff to look at. The Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FBC is an obscure branch. It only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. We started with the leading stuff. I don't know how we're gonna do this, so... Yeah. The rarest wildlife. In the Pacific Northwest. I've finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over, with the proper gear and skills which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. I've noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life, they seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some strange sounds carried on the wind, however. Nothing I can recognize or explain getting a little concerned. I might have to find another spot. And Luca didn't scroll down to the rest of the text so, yeah, take it on him. Moved inland, foliage is stunning, must come back in fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple. Just at the way the Methuselah's beard hangs off it, this is why frees are better than people. Speaking of people, saw some drunk guys staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird, maybe drugs? Kept my distance, should probably find another spot. So annoying. After I saw that weirdo guy I decided to change spots again, moved up the mountain a bit. 
found a fantastic overlook to camp at, but I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. Invasive but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? Want to leave but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Gonna hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. I hope you did it. Oh no, you did hear it. Damn it. Uh, I got a Wi-Fi connected screen for the temperatures. And um, yeah, every now and then it drops and uh, that's the sound you heard. Got stuck. Oh, good thing she can dodge away. I think I can go this way without being stopped. Yeah. I have things to do, and this is not the right way. It's the way we came from. This game seems to be slower than Control was, maybe the episodes have to be a little longer for content reasons. Yeah, I'm also gonna try to keep the episodes a bit longer. If I manage. Hey! Over here! Hey there! Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Yeah, one sec. Anyway, I'll try talking the least possible. This is an horror game and I don't want to ruin the immersion. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh... When are those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Bit too late for that. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be but you know inside fair enough were there any witnesses yeah a couple out of towners i wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. not that we have anything against city folk cried thornton but don't worry sheriff breaker took him back to town a while ago I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, wait me. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. So it's been how long? Thirteen years, and talked on a multi Before we get still to the crime scene, you. there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. That's a good shot. The mind place, my version of the mind palace technique, to sift through clues and work the case, building the mind place again for each case using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. This Everything we know about the previous murders. This is unskippable, unfortunately, so... Can I get up? Yep. Cool. 
I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it? We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Saying, this is a n very nice shot of the lake. Nature gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Too much sky. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You've got cases not. that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Sorry, um, I just want to check everything. And here there's a lot to read. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday. An idyllic evening of barbecuing and late-night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, one minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, the next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, it's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my dog starts barking his head off and this psycho guy comes crashing through the trees, don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. A representative from the rental cabins, who chose to remain anonymous, wanted to remind customers, if you have plans to and stay in our lovely cabins later this summer, please get in touch with us as we may need to rejigger some of the reservations based on the state of the cabin that you have rented with us. The representative went on to further remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found on their company's brochures and on the website, which is real nice, state of the art, my nephew made it and he's a real computer whiz. Does a hike a day keep depression away? It might be bright, sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right, in the grand scheme of life those dead depressing days are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. But for all of you thinking, there's got to be another way, there's good news. Hiking has been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health, so get on out there and do it. Just don't forget a flashlight in case it gets dark. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend and Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog Coffee Bean. CB, as his owner refers to him, had been missing for three days, and Mrs. Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call I couldn't believe my ears, she said, I must have asked am I dreaming, at least seven or eight times. It was actually nine times, confirmed Ranger Stevenson, the man responsible for finding the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give those kinds of calls, and I feel real grateful to have had the opportunity. What with all the predators out there, usually you're telling folks that you found their dogs dead, their cats eaten, you know, and so it felt real good to give some good news, even if Coffee Bean is in kind of rough shape. The fur will grow back, sure, but... Well, I suppose that's all I should say about that. Bright Falls' own virtual baking champ. Little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? No, in this brave new world that we live in, her family was cheering her on as she won a match in a game that exists only on the information superhighway. The game in question was, Mega Baking Star, in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and sweetest eats for their virtual judges online. Bright Falls congratulates Sally on her big win. Okay. I, I don't really know if this turning out, I guess I gotta know when I'm editing, so... A little cumbersome to edit, but pleasing to the eye, but that's just my opinion. I also guess, see, I'd actually just told me. Yes, I did. Let's break the fourth wall, I guess. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not them. Whoa! <laughs> Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here we take different roads because I want to explore. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. I wonder if we ever use this road in a Alan Wake one. We might have because theoretically this is all the you know the idea that we've been walking in uh, um, Alan Wake one. I'm really curious to know what I'm going to find. Mortar Falls. This powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the Witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. Is that a... Kids lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. My dad used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. We'll see I guess. Oh, okay. Need to try to do this. I work I can out because I'm going off and then we just leave. Nice. And quick. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Yeah. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. <laughs> If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Again, we'll go alone first. Two ways. I wanna take this first. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. This here, but I remember there was something else as well around here. Yeah. Same as those in, uh, Alan Wake. Kind of feel the need to say one every single time. The Witch's Hut. Here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. After the accident in uh, Cauldron Lake, this place was deemed uh, like dangerous because of the volcano. At least, feels like that's what the FBC did. They just, you know, closed the place off. That's pretty much what I would have done if I were in them. Friday. Mitch told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday. I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake, instead of just watching it from here, like I always do. Instead of just sitting around, like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow, with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building, take some photos. It's gonna be epic. Oh well, what should they say? Kind of stuff happens to everyone. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? 
I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Alan is watching over us. Kind of a little blasphemous. What did they mean? Because it's probably dead. Well, could be other way. Can't go any further. Water's you, too you, deep. You actually can. There's no water in front of you. Okay, never mind. Which is ladle? There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet, there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld. Or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree, named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers, if she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then, she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Okay. Oh. Yeah, can you please remove... Oh, God. I'm still used to um, control what I used to press. Control <laughs> to then. Are we done exploring? It's been quite an hike until now. We got more to, che to check out first. Still, wow this place is big. Yeah, actually, also down there. How do you like knitting, Hero? I had it made just for you. Knitting? I have no idea. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again, it hit me suddenly at 1.15am after I'd finished my Alma on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects. Nothing. But when I blink repeatedly I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me, here but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. Now also aliens. Well, in all honesty, it's not like it's kind of a proli prolific, f prolific place for this kind of things because of all the weird stuff that happens. So I'm not surprised some people went for the um, aliens, but. At the same time, I'm not really surprised. Some people believe that. Wait, you don't believe in aliens, right? I didn't say I don't believe in aliens. I am saying that... According to what science has found until now, aliens is one of the latest 
one of the last explanations you can use you should use because of me. you can use it but it doesn't make it right a creepy twig sculpture wonder what's inside I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Yeah. Oh god. I already did it, so... I managed to find out how it works yesterday. I did I hold the symbols around there? See this one. Opposite facing one. The left facing up. Right, one. Chicken from the fridge, opposites. And then this one, I remember it. No, it was horizontal, this way. Well, in all honesty, if you go to, you can be my uh, the, the third one is just you know try them all. That is where we gotta go. She doesn't run very fast, but at the same time, nothing is chasing her, so I don't, uh, I don't see the point. Okay, we go to check the market here. Anderson. Deputy Thornton, I take it. Yeah, that's me. Mulligan told me you were coming the other way. I come every way. There were people squatting around. more of the symbols I was hoping you'd realized but I think you left something behind in the other building yeah that's true there is another thing to take on the in the other house you're right Monday September 3rd some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Tuesday, September 4th. Nothing to report. Some animals. Regular. Wednesday, September 5th. Hunters out after dark. Poachers. Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. Still a little bit of water going, so... I guess the squatters are doing it for a good reason. Forgot something. Oh, yeah? Come on, man, I cannot keep reminding you to explore properly. Yeah. Anything else? No. So we go, we go to check the body, then uh, we mop up the thing we left behind. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. 
You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Okay, this is the part that takes the most time, really. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Oh, sorry. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Okay, talk to someone and find evidence. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Looks like you know what to do already. Yeah, I already did it. It's not gonna be as easy going forward. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay, now we try to understand who this guy is. There we go. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Okay, Casey. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. His side burn is burning. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, also, that's Nightingale, guys. I don't know if you remember, but <coughs> in the ending of Alan Wake 1, Nightingale is one of the very last frames when you see um, the Rose became the new Lady of the Light, basically. And he's behind, in a, like, in inside a building which he threw an open door or a window. So, for that. so what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? <coughs> I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. 
That's how you use it better, actually. I think easier. that's it. Yeah. I also think that's it. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Okay, this is where I had stopped doing the tests. Oh, there's also stuff to read around here. This mug always cheers me up. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. How the hell is she, is she getting this information? Does she talk to the dark presence? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay, so what? Well, I don't understand what I need to do now. Prefer the victim, haven't I? Oh, okay. More? The lake shore, okay. <coughs> the lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, it was not really great. Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Okay. I mean, not that I care much. Well, I'll take that thing before they forget completely. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. These are kind of collectibles, of course. Hey, Casey. Welcome back, Anderson. You actually left. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. 
What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Footprints. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Okay, that's it? Oh, okay. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm, like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm, the killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Yeah, we'll go back up first. Ah, I'm so happy I managed to fix the frame rate. And FSR is doing a good job too. Hey, about you made some it back. little things. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Okay, let's profile. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Uh. I say, uh. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Okay, hey, let's Steve. check. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls. 
and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. There's a gate on your right. No, that gate down there doesn't open. I'm not even trying it. Oh, I need to use it this way. Okay. Be more um, survival on or. Seems like a nice element. town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Stuff on your left now. This place is quite big. Oh yeah, more to check. Well, can I climb up? Yeah. There's another lunchbox. We're all in this together. Have a heroic day. <clears throat> Who's leaving these lunchboxes though? I don't know. Could be right in these things. Somebody that knows Alan, right? But uh, nobody ever called. Um, what's his name? Alan Anido. So. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera <clears throat> to record a, a snuff film. Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Just checking around, you never know. Where the hell are we? This was supposed to be a shortcut. Oh, I've checked this, have I? I'm gonna yeah. go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Yeah, I have. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. back Ew. sorry people but i may have to speed up some content here okay so without losing too much time let's go to waste time i'm gonna go check something out be right back ready that concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? Deerfest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So, 
I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. She never responded. <laughs> but I have her uncle Tapio on the line from Watery. Tapio, are you there? Yes. Great. And Tapio, what kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Uh, that definitely seems to be on the menu. <laughs> How about over the next week? Also rain. Right. Care to uh, elaborate? Any chance the sun will poke out in time for Deerfest? No. Well, Deerfest is coming, rain or shine. And that parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade because they have one float in the shape of a swan. Long neck and everything. A very large swan. Ah, so you're a fan of swans? No. <laughs> just ended so abruptly. Let's go to have alert. Never got to check any of these in a Alan Wake, I think. I need bolt cutters. Oh, she just went out. Break an entry. Ah, this one she doesn't even try. Take care now. They didn't even talk to you, did I? The historic Elderwood Palace Lodge of Bright Falls. This building was constructed as a part of one of the early settlements in the Greater Bright Falls area. Built in 1898, the building has been both in private and public use through the years and has bravely stood the test of time. In 2015, it was carefully taken apart and relocated here in downtown Bright Falls, where it was rebuilt into its original glory log by log. The Elderwood Palace Lodge reopened in Bright Falls in 2016 and has served its customers faithfully ever since. They really expanded on the lore of the city. Welcome back, Anderson. Hi, Sam. Hello. We're gonna take a different road again. Yes, we will. Any interesting Across. guests lately? Any good finds? Zilch. But someone left to grow a surprise under their bed for housekeeping. They're nuts. So, that's what all that screaming was about? Either that, or the couple on their honeymoon. I'll okay. be back in a second. Roger. I did get in here. This is the police station. of time is deceiving the days of our lives are fleeting and, and they the end, end in the end, end they end the hell is this there's something to sing mm. no start tweet tweet my sweets <laughs> Now, why'd you go and do that? Stomping around like that and scaring the poor little things. If not for the birds, I might just go a little nutty. No worries. A little cuckoo, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just walking away. 
I'm not gonna make a fast, but I'm gonna Let walk away. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. It's not I'm him. set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. It couldn't I'm be Agent him. Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Tim? Or Sarah? Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. No, you take what? We've looked through the case Stop files. Stop right there. The sheriff. Have you had huh? many people besides the known it's him. victims go missing? It's sure. like from Quantum Break. I don't know the but name of the actor. But it's Lake was fenced off. That's it. Guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. What the hell is going on? Still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. It'll take your mind off things. Oh. They're not here. How can you be so calm? Be your own. This is part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. I won't read that. That's irrelevant. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't show me anything that I checked. But now I know I can get into the station and here. Oh, the, the unisex. They weren't that way before, were they? I need something to force this open. I'm learning f things that she wanna break. <coughs> Calm down. Oh, another one. Rest easy, buddy. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. 
And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. What was happening there? The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. How can she know these things? That's, there must be something, some kind of explanation. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions past the bolt cutters they broke in for the sake of tammy's book nothing to do with a the murder they were telling the truth who's she talking to how does she know all that stuff honestly it beats me i have no idea what to think about it this is beyond guessing it's as if something or someone is giving her information she cannot possibly have So, so this would be him talking. Oh. Okay. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Yeah, but they are collectibles. There you go. Not even one? That's not the only location on the board, buddy. Oh, because this is called on lake, okay. I wonder if she's gonna say something. There are some that I missed too. Quite a few actually. Finally half. Anyway, yeah, I'm done here. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. <coughs> I need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Is that Rose? Like we'd even dream of missing dear fellow. Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She... drowned. 
Your daughter? <laughs> That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. What the actual Good F is going on? Wasn't Anderson Odin and Tor's last name? I remember Tor had a daughter, Freya. We read it in a control document. Lady, what the actual F is going on? So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Pause to think. Sorry, no, I missed the number. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. <clears throat> okay. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some Let me check here. Okay, I will just fast forward then. Yeah. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Why does she open that way? I don't understand. Money. It's like she's scared of doors. I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff station, for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Someone's next to you, man. Oh, I didn't notice. I can't force it open. Hmm. I don't remember the there was a corner there. They locked up an innocent man. Does that open? I swear I didn't do anything. They're a lying bunch of bastards. Yeah, this was slightly different, I believe. Man, I'm not gonna read this as well, this is starting to be annoying. Okay. Lots of image tearing dude. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, tearing. But I'm using V-Sync, I don't know why it's happening. I 
As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. Why? Calm down. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the, the woods. The hell is that? It only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. We have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. <laughs> I got just one word from this thing. I really made it. <laughs> they're, they're absolutely nuts. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. So, qualified to look around. I can't say I feel the same. a lot of stuff looks like the menu in this one is much more complicated i don't know it kind of reminds me of resident evil just missing the combine option i guess wait maybe there's some crafting to do that's why so many items there might be crafting yeah i mean there is crafting uh, yeah you know what i meant why did, did it make me open this if there's nothing inside? That sounded like the painkillers from Max Payne. I can't get through this. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Wait, let's I'll start look with the around. external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the, the bo body show signs of being submerged in water post mortem? It doesn't add up. It's actually bloated now, quite a bit. Aha! Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Okay. Let's start 
Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay, are we good? page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Go! 